Sportsman's Adventures is presented by Yamaha. Right. <laughs> Who knows? He sipped that mullet, didn't he? That was beautiful. Mirror lure mullet. Yep. Yeah. We had that. We had that other one come up, sip it. We were saying, man, <laughs> probably you didn't get hooked. <laughs> Trebles got him that time. Beautiful fish. Boy, isn't it amazing how much they jump when they have a oh, lure yeah. in their face? Oh, yeah. They, they do not like it. Hooks. They don't like the way it feels. Nope. All right, Mr. Tarpon. Settle down. The fun part is grabbing them with the trebles. Yeah. All right, you might have to go underneath the gill there, but yeah. just keep from getting wearing that. Oh, oh, he helped you out. Yeah. Now, now, now you have. Now all the troubles are on the outside. Yeah, good exposure to get hooked. Don't worry though, I know how to get the hooks out. Yeah. Ooh, that almost got me. <laughs> nice. Bring him around the other side there. If you want, come on up here, Steve. Just want to get him away from those bushes there, you know. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> now it's your turn to, to mess My around turn. with those hooks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Wow. I'm going to spin your arm. You know, it's so cool to catch them early in the morning like this. Oh, yeah. They're so, uh, they're, you know, they're just so unexpected at this time in the morning, you know. They got their hair down. Oh, yeah. And they're just early morning, summertime, yep. you know. They're happy, rolling around. <laughs> Careful with that one. Right? The minute you put pressure, you're gonna freak out. Come here, buddy. Hey, I'm not used to this. I'm not used to somebody grabbing the fish for me. Only a mama could love that mouth. Isle Mirada, the village of islands, is where Captain Rick is venturing off to launch the Maverick and drop a line in the water. Today he's meeting up with Captain Stephen Tejera. Captain Steve is very familiar with South Florida's fishing grounds and has been a charter guide for many years. He's a bit more psyched up for this trip because he's been watching sportsmen's adventures since being a kid. And now he gets to guide Captain Rick to a few of his favorite spots. Obviously, Isle Mirada makes a great place to fish both offshore in the Atlantic and inshore in the Gulf. For today's sportsman's adventures, Captain Steve heads for Florida Bay and some of Captain Rick's favorite species. We saw him back there from 70 feet away. His whole back was sticking out of the water. Listen to him popping his jaws. How about that for an eat? That was pretty cool. He liked that fish bite shrimp. Looks like he's hooked on the outside of his face. Hopefully he won't wear through the light leader. That was pretty, uh, that's all right, I got him. Uh, I'm gonna grab him I got a real tail. light drag right now. I wanted to get him before he frays through that. He's hooked on the outside. I think we'll be okay, don't you? I think so, he's in a good spot. <laughs> that was awesome. Dude, that was so cool. He just laid up there. 
waiting for something to go by, and it, he felt it go by, <laughs> and he was circling around Looking and got him it. in a frenzy. You saw that. You even said it. He can come back. He came right back to that little mud where he saw that shrimp, and he's like, where's that shrimp at? It's like a dog hunting a oh, bone. Exactly. <laughs> that was cool. So how you like that little fish bite shrimp? I you like didn't know that, that fish bite make no, I shapes, didn't. did you? I didn't. I thought they just made little strips, strips. little pieces. Yeah, that man. thing worked when it came right over the top of them. Yeah. He just beautiful fish. Yeah, man. Thank you. That was so cool. That was awesome. Thank you for being patient. That was neat. Are you kidding me? Thank you. Thank you for making me look good and making a good shot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was awesome. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Rodan. Set it, forget it, catch more fish. Fish Bites and Fish Bites Fight Club Lures. The Costa Pro Series. It's time to go pro. And Startron cures and prevents fuel problems. Power pole down there, Steve-O. Uh. I'm nice. getting this power pole thing here, Rick. Good eyes, Cap. Get lucky every now and then. I had a bad glare. I couldn't see. I was all flying blind. Get lucky every now and then. Flying blind. Nice work, Rick. Nice. Pretty little redfish. Ah, I'm hooked. Uh-oh. Go ahead and get that out. There you go. You got him? Can't hold on to this one. <laughs> he doesn't want to say hello. Nope. Yeah, so the captain's got uh, butterfingers. You know, I noticed that a lot of the fish that are up here, right out front of Flamingo, we ran over from Isla Morada. And that's what's so cool about these little boats is you have the ability to run up on the banks and run all the little cuts and whatnot. But it seemed like most of the fish are in the same size bracket. Yep. And it's that's what's better. so cool about, you know, whether you were in Key Largo or you're in Isla Morada yep. or even, you know, Lower Matacumbi, yep. Tavernier that all of this Florida Bay is accessible. accessible yep. You don't have to run right. all the way to Flamingo. We're halfway. Yep. And yeah, there's we've a lot got of water. this good fishing. I just kept kind of thinking how it's slowing down, hoping something would... Good eye, man. He was swimming with a black drum. <laughs> the two of them. Good eye. Here comes a shark. Oh, I thought it was red. Nice. Nice job. Yes, sir. I'm gonna put the power pole down for you, Steve. Yep. I got it. Nice. You got a little hair. Got him in the nick of time, the cloud, the rain cloud. All right, closing in. Ready, fish. Oh, Stevie, oh, what's the biggest snook you've caught up here on the flats? Biggest one I've caught was 40 inches on fly. All up here on the flats? On the flats. That's a stud snook. Yep, on a backhand cast. A backhand? But to me, they're all beautiful. They're all beautiful. You might have to get our raincoat out there, bub. Nice! Nice! <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I mean, you gotta love it. Man, it, what a difference when you can see your fly, see your lure. Yep. just cross path with it, yeah. and then that fish just connects with it and your lure disappears. <laughs> that is a good feeling. 
Nothing like sight fishing, man. <laughs> Big or small, they're all fun. A fish bite really works when they're a little fussy, huh? Yep. It's all got all the things they like. It's got the shape, yep. the smell. Especially in here, this, all these fish had their head in the grass. That's what they're looking for. Yeah. Pretty fish. Pretty fish. Yeah, man. Buddy fingers. Hammer fist. That's the name of that, hammer fist. Hammer that color. Fist. I like that color. It almost looks pink. Yeah, it's pink with some little red veins in it. We need a new one. That, that one got bass assassin jig is a freaking perfect. eight ounce jig head. Perfect. It doesn't let it sink too fast. Yeah. And then if you want to let it drop, it drops down at the right speed. Mm hmm. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Power Pole, Total Boat Control, Contender Boats, Always in the Game. Casa Vieja Lodge, experience five-star angling in beautiful Guatemala. Murphy's Law Sport Fishing, book your trip at murphyslawsportfishing.com. Taco Marine, troll the edge. And Diamond Fishing Products, our reputation is on the line. So I'm here at Eric's Outboards and with me is Tony. And Tony, let's talk a little bit about a 20 hour versus a 100 hour check. First off, what do we do on a 20 hour check? On a 20 hour check, Rick, we do uh, gear oil and engine oil and your, and your fuel filters. Um, and what we're looking for during that check is any type of imperfections, any, any metal shavings within the lower unit or, or, or engine oil, um, anything that stands out that's not out of the norm. Um, with a 100 hour check, that's a little bit different. It's more in intense. We do um, gear oil, engine oil, uh, water separators, fuel filters, oil filters, spark plugs, zincs, uh, uh, impellers. And then lastly, we do, uh, we spray it down with Yama Shield. Um, of course, this particular engine, this 200 we have right here behind us, is an engine that we sold here about three years ago. Um, they have a little over 2,270 hours on them and we service them religiously. So this customer went and, and ran it, got the 20 hours, brought it to us, we serviced them, checked everything, everything was perfect, and then we every, every 100 hours, the boat's here. So it comes in multiple times a year to get serviced. So for the do-it-yourselfer guy at home, what recommendation? But when he gets his parts, he needs to start the motor up, heat it up, of course. Yeah, so the process, what the process is here is the boat comes in, uh, the, the, our master tech tears it down, uh, inspects everything. If everything is as it should be, then he goes and starts installing everything. Of course, always is OEM parts is what you want to use. It, if you have warranty and you use something other than that, it's going to avoid the warranty. So always use your OEM parts from Yamaha. And, and as he drains the oil and fills the oil, does the impeller, at the last step is he turns the motor on on the hose, shifts it in and out of gear, and makes sure it's right. After that, shuts it down, sprays it all down with Yamaha Shield. Yamaha makes a great service bulletin. It's called Yamaha Maintenance Matters. Guys, you can pick it up at your local Yamaha dealership. And Tony, thank you so much for educating me on Thanks, what sir. to do on our 100-hour check. Oh, what an eat. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> It's so neat when you can see the lure, that white lure on this brown bottom, bro. Yep. You know, you can use your rod to steer it left, steer it right. right. Exactly. You know? And how awesome is it just put, seeing, put the power pole down and I'll come back there to you. Seeing the fish sitting there, your bait coming up to it, and just watching it all unfold. Yeah. That's the best part about it. Yeah. When you see all that unfold, man, that's, there's nothing like it. Pretty colors on that fish. Pretty, pretty colors. Yeah, look at how copper he is, the blue tail. Again, though, Steve, all in that same 20 inch. Yep. yep. You know? They're all about that same size. And that's yeah. another thing I think too, it goes in cycles. A lot of those fish we had a few years back, mm -hmm. you think 
do you think some of those fish that we had before just got too big and moved out? Yes. And now this is a new generation of reds? Yeah. Yeah, right? For I mean, sure. That's a pretty fish. This fish here is probably three years old, maybe, yeah. Yeah. you know? And uh, he probably learned his first lesson in catch and release. <laughs> And but dude, I just want to tell you one thing. You don't know how lucky you are that you're in Florida Bay and not in Louisiana. Because yep. if you're inside the slot in Louisiana, you'd be, you'd be red, some redfish on the half shell. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Oh, that was so cool, dude. That was cool. Nice. Straight to the hole. Perfect. Don't move it yet. Don't move it, Rick. Don't move it. Oh, I see it. Okay, move it. Got him. It was a whole school, bro. Yep. Nice job, man. Nice job. I didn't even see him. You, that was all you. Hey. So when we check the scorecard it, later, it, it's that teamwork. one gets on yours. It's teamwork, brother. <laughs> you, you put it exactly where I said within a second. The beautiful thing when you have a good angler on the bow that. You know, Thank just you. puts Thank it you. right where it's got to be, whether he sees it it's or not. It's a beautiful thing when you got a guide on the back that can see them uh, and knows getting, where they live. Getting lucky every now and then. Yeah, there's no luck in that. That was a nice little group, beautiful little school. Yeah. Pretty fish. Thank you, Mr. Stevie. These reds are so healthy, man. Yep. So healthy. Yeah, they are. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Love it. Get them, man. Thanks, bud. That was awesome. That was good teamwork. Thank yeah. you very much. That was awesome. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Ameritrail. Load, launch, relax. Maverick Boat Group, makers of premium boat brands. Maverick, Hughes, Pathfinder, and Cobia. The American Fishing Tackle Company. Any fish, any water, since 1958. The Florida Keys in Key West, come as you are. And Garmin, join the club. There you work, man. Hey, the weatherman calls for an ugly day, but we made the best of it and had an awesome day. You know, if you don't go, you don't know, bub. Right. You gotta go. You better believe it. That is true. You gotta go. Well, he inhaled that. I think he wanted that fish bite. Yeah, man, he inhaled. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Drop my rattle. I got a second. Look, Steve, look. I mean, it's in the crusher. Ugh. And the cool thing is that the snook were whacking it the same way. Yeah, man, and I think a triple tail. Yeah. The test will be if you can take it in the bay and catch a bonefish on it. Uh, That'd that. be kind of cool, huh? That would be cool. All right, Bubba, we gonna let you I go. I bet you letting it drop with those legs moving just a little bit, yep. I bet you they'll pick it right up off the bottom. That's how it's done right there. <laughs> yeah, pull it away from him, make him very angry, and then throw it back two exactly. casts later. <clears throat> you know he was gonna eat it that second time. <laughs> How many fish have we had to do that? That see the spoon or see that fish bite, get pissed off after missing it. We're just pulling real slow, real quiet, and then just come right back and just absolutely <clears throat> destroy it. Well, that's the beauty of these technical polling skips. You know, that one, they don't displace a lot of water. And then number two, there's no hole slap whatsoever. It's not like the old days, though. You know, all of the, things that keep you dry are under the, in a polling situation or underneath the surface. It's a beautiful thing. Good eyes there, Cap. 
a beautiful thing. Great job. Great job. So cool to catch a redfish up here in the skinnies. Yep. With you, Mr. Stevens. Oh, it's my pleasure. It so is, cool. It is really cool to do it with you. Not just cool, but to me, it's uh, it's special. Especially growing up watching you and looking up to guys like you. It's uh, it's extremely special. Beautiful Florida Bay redfish. Beautiful. Awesome. It never gets old. It really doesn't get old when you it catch doesn't. them. It doesn't, man. It doesn't matter whether, you know, you're in Key Largo or you run over from Isla Mirada or some people, you know, they come in from Miami or Fort Lauderdale, they fish Chukaluski, Sarasota, catching a redfish in shallow water and seeing him eat the spoon like that guy did. That's the best doesn't part. Doesn't get old, man. That's the best part. Yep. Seeing him there. And that spoon coming across the top and him light up, those fins just, yeah. I love it when those like peck fins like flare out and he comes up to the top. Yeah. You know, that's awesome. Thank you, Rick. Thank you for having me out here Oh with man. You, man. Thank you for taking the time to do this with us. Oh, it's my, it's my pleasure. It's an honor to be out here with you, man, catching these fish. As the wind and weather move on in, it's time for the guys to move on out and head back to Isle Mirada. All in all, it's been nothing but a spectacular day for another great sportsman's adventure. Keep up with the latest at Sportsman's Adventures by logging into our website at sportsmansadventures.com and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.